What's up, YouTube? Capital G here talking about spiral in this video and asking the question, do spirals just kind of suck right now? And I know that that might sound like a ludicrous statement, especially when you look back just maybe three weeks ago when it just recently won a YCS. It was still pretty much at that near unbeatable level, and it was inarguably just, you know, a, a tier zero deck, a deck that defined the meta, and everybody was main decking a bunch of stuff to beat it because it was so much better better than every other deck but we obviously know we got a new ban list it hits power resort the one and i think that that has significantly changed the path of spiral moving forward and i think that it's becoming more and more evident and generally when i say suck i don't mean you know i don't want people to overblow this and say oh my god cap g is saying that spirals are low tier for life that they're table 500 no i'm not saying that spirals are on the ice barrier meme level where it's like th th this deck doesn't even function right <laughs> like your opponent shows up with ice barriers and you basically fall out of your chair laughing before they even finish their first turn. I'm basically saying that Spiral is just kind of another deck. I kind of feel like Spiral are on that level and especially this becomes more applicable when you looked at the expectations of what people believed of Spiral. Now, I'm not trying to like call out all the Yugi tubers or whatnot because, you know, obviously I'm wrong about things all the time. But when a lot of people made their predictions for what the meta was going to be and what some of the best decks were in the meta were, I saw a lot of people putting Spiral as like a top three deck. Some people were even saying, yeah, it's still the best deck. It's still just as consistent, yada, yada, yada. I was kind of a little more timid in my approach. I tried to be just a little more cautious when ranking spiral i think i had it at like the ninth spot or maybe the eight spots to be honest at first i really didn't even want to put it on the list and i was like all right people kind of talked me into it being kind of around there but i think i distinctly said that spiral kind of had to prove to me that it was still as consistent and still as good and i will admit i can be completely wrong on this i think that ycs atlanta is going to be the de facto proving ground for all of these decks, and YCS Atlanta will probably establish the meta. I believe that there also might be a European YCS within a couple of weeks after Atlanta, so we're probably going to have a couple of big YCSs within the span of a few weeks, and that'll basically establish our meta during this ban list, and maybe Spyro come out and they completely dominate the event, but don't you guys just feel like there's absolutely no buzz around the deck? Like, if you've been looking at competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! We had our first weekend, and this format, I'll admit, is still obviously in its infancy. We haven't had that super big tournament. That is YCS Atlanta yet, so anything can still happen. But coming out of the first week of this, uh, this new format, we've seen some of the regional results, and you've seen some of the major players that people thought were going to be met. I've been looking at some of the Yugi tubers uh, John Moore, House of Champs, he posts a a lot of deck lists from regionals asian persuasion he does a lot of them too and i've just been noticing spiral just seems completely absent i'm seeing the ones that i expected i'm seeing true draco demise make a big resurgence I'm seeing Pendulum Magicians and Trickstar and, you know, kind of like the Dinosaur builds. I believe there was even like a Dinosaur uh, Shadow build that made top eight. I'm seeing the 60 card, I don't want to call them Light Swarms, but I can't really think of anything else to call them. But I've seen like the, the 60 card Grass decks, but I have not seen a series, like I, have, I haven't seen a single Spiral deck yet. And it actually even goes a little deeper than that. I'm on Dueling Book pretty much every day, whether I'm just on there to try and see what people are playing, see if I can, you know, get a good commentary for a video, or maybe I just jump on there and duel my outro guys, which, by the way, if you ever duel me on Dueling Book, yes, I am a jerk a lot of times. I'm trying to become a little less salty and toxic when I duel, but generally I get really, really salty really, really quick when I'm losing, so I apologize if I've ever just yelled at you on Dueling Book for no reason. If I'm playing Outer Geist, then you know it's me. If it's somebody playing some other random shit, just assume it's not me. But even when I'm playing on Dueling Book and I'm playing in ranked or I'm watching like ranked duels, I have not seen a single person playing Spiral and I'm seeing the same decks that are topping the regionals and it just makes me think, where have all the Spiral players gone? Now, obviously, there are going to be people who jump the new decks, new releases from Extreme Force, but the deck is al it's almost like it fell completely off the map. And I kept hearing when Spiral got hit, people saying that it wasn't as big of a deal. They were only losing a few cards from the deck. I kept saying, I don't know, man. Master Plan seems like she is incredibly kind of, you know, mediocre now, especially if you actually draw her and you open with Resort. She's like a colossal brick. People 
people kept saying, well, Cap, it's only like five cards out of the deck, but you have to understand, now that you kind of can't run terraforming anymore, that's a huge consistency card, and I feel like there are two possible answers to this. Number one, the deck just isn't nearly as powerful, consistent, and as oppressive as it was for the past couple of formats. I feel like this happens all the time in Yu-Gi-Oh! where a deck is completely dominant. It might be the best deck in the last couple of years, but it gets a couple of hits on the ban list, and it's just never the same. It doesn't matter how many times you test the deck or what builds you try. Look at Zodiac. There are still people who mess around with that deck, but I think since the hits, there's been like maybe one player who has topped the regional since when Zodiac is arguably the strongest archetype Konami has released in the last five years. It's not like all of these Zodiac players became bad. The deck is just, it's just never going to be the same without the, you know, Broad Bull and the Dryden. And I feel like Spiral might be in that position. Hell, sometimes we see that happen kind of in reverse where a deck used to be extremely dominant, got some banless hits, cards come back. We think the deck's just going to tear shit up again because we're looking through our rose-colored glasses. Hell, I fell victim to this with Cleefort just now. I thought Cleefort was going to be incredibly powerful with three sacrifice and cleave for towers i played it for about 30 minutes and i was like wow this feels this feels incredibly underwhelming i think phoenix flare x made an entire video about it and he was spot on where it's like man three sacrifice is not a replacement for three scout and this is just it's just not nearly as powerful as like pendulum magicians i feel like a lot of people who played spirals in the past probably started testing it and may have realized this i can't say that this is you know for sure what happened because i haven't played spiral extensively and i just don't have the knowledge of some of the spiral experts or option two which i don't really think is that likely all the spiral players have some type of op build or all the spiral experts are planning to play it they're just kind of all sitting low it's in the underground but how realistic is that like how realistic is it to think that spirals are kind of off the radar completely of most competitive duelists and then at ycs atlanta this deck is just going to kind of show up out of nowhere and tear shit up. If you look at the history of, of YCS events and Yu-Gi-Oh! competitive play, that doesn't really happen. Like, it's very rare, maybe one time every couple of years, that, it, uh, that an event will be taken by a deck that comes out of nowhere. I mean, some of those examples go down in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Like, when Dark World won, uh, I believe it was Long Beach, like the 50th YCS, when Dino Rabbit was like the most dominant deck. Dark World came out of nowhere and took the event. Or when Gravekeepers, Fraser Smith, that was the event that really put him on the map. He won an event when Six Samurai was like the hot shit, and he came and kind of won with Grave Keepers, and everybody was like, wait, what? Grave Keepers won a fucking YCS? So I, it kind of feels like that's the situation that's going on with uh, Spiral right now. In fact, I'll even defer to your perception. Person watching this video, I'll ask the question because I think we're both going to be in agreement and on the same page. What would be the bigger shock to you at YCS Atlanta? If Spiral don't even make the top 32 cut or if Spiral won the event and had the most spots in top 32? Because I honestly feel like if Spiral win this event and they have the most spots, they're the most represented deck in the top 32, I feel like that would be a huge surprise and everybody would be like, whoa, what? I really don't think that if Spiral missed the top, I don't think anybody would be all of that shocked because it doesn't really feel like they have a great chance going in based on what we've seen in the first couple of weeks, based on what we're seeing in competitive play on like Dueling Book and kind of what people are talking about. I don't really see people talking about Spiral like it is a legitimate favorite going into this event. And again, I'll double down and say that if Spiral end up winning the event or if they have an extremely strong showing at YCS Atlanta, I'll look like a complete and utter dumbass. But I do know my Yu-Gi-Oh! history because I played this game for so long. And Yu-Gi-Oh! history traditionally says that if a deck is that powerful, if a deck is extremely strong and consistent, if it's still basically a top three deck of the format, people are going to play it. If Spiral is still this top three deck that people say it was or that they said right after the ban list, Spiral still is people are going to play the deck. It doesn't matter what the arbitrary factors are. You guys know if a deck is expensive, doesn't matter. Dad Return, you know, Gladiator Beast during the Glad format, Dino Rabbit, people will still pick it up. If a deck is super hard to learn and it's, you know, a deck that requires a lot of technical skill and maybe it's complicated, doesn't matter. People are still going to play it. Necroz, Ritual Beast, Infernity. If a deck is considered very linear, doesn't matter. Trickstar, people will play it. Hell, even if a deck is fairly boring, it doesn't matter if the deck is good. Cleefort and all the other like super stun decks that people say are just boring doesn't matter. All of these conditions are kind of irrelevant. People play decks that are good and if Spyro is so good, 
Why is it non-existent right now? I feel like everybody else maybe has learned something that just isn't public knowledge, or at least we'll say that people aren't really talking about. And I think that it is that Spiral, it just isn't this deck that people thought it was going to be. It's not a top three deck anymore. I find it very hard to believe that all of these Spiral players are kind of on the underground and all the Trick Stars and the True Dracos and the ABCs right now are the ones shining going into YCS Atlanta. And Spiral is just going to kind of, you know, come out of the, come out of nowhere to like, obliterate the event it could happen but i doubt it so what do you guys think do you guys think that spiral based on what people believed going into this format is going to actually live up to that hype because i'm starting to think that it's just another deck right now and that's the reason no one's really playing it whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos